Hello, ladies, gents, folk. My name is Matt, and today we are starting The Great Pokemon Nuzlocke Odyssey. What is The Great Pokemon Nuzlocke Odyssey, you ask? Well, Pokemon is a modded collection of Pokemon games that allow you and a server of others to participate in four regions Kanto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, and Unova, and their entire plot lines. Tough luck, Jota. You can even customise your own character. Look at these shoes. I've got a black top, red joggers, white crepes. I'm basically dressed like me. A Nuzlocke is a challenge that basically can be summed up as a permadeath mode. If your Pokemon is knocked out, they are donezo and cannot be used for the rest of the run. Naturally, if you run out of Pokemon, you lose the run. Secondly, you may only catch one Pokemon in each area, and it must be the first Pokemon you encounter. If you fail to catch that Pokemon, well, Coconut to you, it's donezo. So, without further ado, let's put my years of Pokemon experience to the test. As you can see, there are a lot of people in my house. This is the MMO effect. I decided to choose Oshawa because Samurai is one of my favourite Pokemon ever, including the Hisuian version. Love that. Plus, that means Sharon gets Snivy, and they both remind me of Yakuya from Danganronpa so much that they need to be united. Bianca has big Sayaka vibes, by the way. So, we get our Oshawott, and it's time for war. War goes pretty well for the first couple of rounds, and we have a fight to an little Oshawott. And because Samurai is an epic samurai warrior, I decide to call him Gundam Tanaka, because he's peak. He's from Danganronpa, by the way. Now, let's find Bianca's dad. Yo, Mr. White. Wait, that's the wrong dad. There's the sad dad I need. Now, I navigate around the eldritch horror of the void that is Cthulhu and go hang out with PhD Haver. Oh, there's a second one. Hmm, okay, bye forever. Time to start our Odyssey. Hmm, I do not think I will win this. So, any guesses who the first teammate to join the almighty Gundam Tanaka will be? It's the one and only Mana fucking Kuma. It's Mana Kuma! I apologise, I can't do high pitch at all. Look at this dude. I'm not going to evolve him, I'm going to keep him just like he is. No, Byakia, do not join the cult. And for Nagito, I have hope, Hajime. Hope that all Pokemon will overcome despair of Pokeballs. Route 2, baby. Let's go. Oh, damn. A Monocub. Monosuke is the best Monocub, by the way. Fight me. As you can see, I've become one for the void. Overexposure to Cthulhu. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a commercial break. This video has been sponsored by Astro Burger, a fake burger company I have made up today to prove I can do ad segues. Astro Burger is the best burger since the Big Bang. It ink. Look at our mascot Gastro the Astro Burger dance. Look at him go. He's wonderful. He's beautiful. He's orbited by many little burgers. Surely you want one there, don't you? Yes. You want to eat Gastro the Astro Burger, don't you? Yes. Yes, you do. Back to your regularly scheduled... Matt fucking up a Nuzlocke. So this route goes pretty well, I admit. It gets spicy a couple times, but overall, it goes well. We, we hit them with a pew pew of the water gun quite a lot. All we do really, that's all we do really, I'm not even gonna lie. No real strategy, just pew 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 pew. Just, just firing away. We make it to Stratton City. I meet a stranger in an highway. I head into a abandoned factory. Then I decide to hit the books. But oh, wait. But wait, I should probably train first. So I do. For about two battles, and I get bored of grind. And I think, well, I don't need to grind. I'll just raw dog the fight. It'll be Gucci. Can you tell by my tone of voice how this went? <laughs> I enter the school. And much like an actual dang and romper game, this is what ultimately killed me. It starts out fine. Okay. He only has two Pokemon still. Plus, Perloin is a low level. He switches to Snivy. That's fine. Hmm. That hits harder than expected. Was I being too cocky for thinking I could just tank this? Yes. Yes, I was. On a scale of box ability, Gundam is starting to feel pretty boxable, unfortunately. And then, I think, wait. I can use the noblest of tactics to win this game. Stalling. Vine with only has like 10 AP, right? This will be... Fine. I switched to Monokuma. Okay, not fine. I definitely should have trained. 
Well, a body has been discovered. This is what we in the industry call fucked. Another body has been discovered. And then it's just my mighty little Gundam. Gundam Tanaka against the world. Looking back, I probably should have named the Pat Rats after his uh, after his hamsters to give him more power. But um hmm, it's fine. He must be out of Vine Whip PP by now, right? Right? So, admittedly, we've took a pretty big L pretty early on. Quite embarrassing, I admit. But this has been a very fruitful lesson in the importance of training and, unfortunately, grinding. So next time, I will meet Byakia prepared and we will conquer this school. So stay tuned for episode 2 of the great Pokemon MMO Nuzlocke Odyssey. Thank you for watching.